Hi! It's been a year since I've recorded a video and a lot has changed. I've moved out of my house. I have been running my business for about a year as well. And I started doing it full time about in October. So, how many months is that? Damn, six months! October, November. Seven. Oh my god. Uh, I wanted to document this the next couple days because I'm working on a collection right now for House Moving Castle. I decided to release one collection every week of April, which is a lot of work. And it's been a lot of work, and I've been working like 12 hour days. My bad. Uh, today is not an exception. I'm working probably all day. This morning I worked 6 to 10 at my coffee shop job, which I will probably be quoting. Also, I think my raviolis are ready. My cat is eating something on the floor. No! No, don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Anyways, um... Welcome, I guess. I am now 21, so... Yeah. I guess this is gonna be like a rebranding of my channel because I'm not the same as I was in high school. Who is? Who is? Yeah, so plan for today. I'm gonna eat because I haven't eaten yet, which happens a lot when I wake up at 6 and go work at the coffee shop. I just drink coffee and then I feel like shit. And after I eat, I have to finish up some orders. I'll show you how many I have. Not bad. I have about like probably 15 orders that I need to finish up today and I need to package them and get them ready to go to the post office before they close, which is like 6. And then, oh my god, tomorrow I'm releasing my House Moving Castle collection at noon. And I already designed all this stuff. I can do a little sneak peek, I guess. <laughs> We're just doing a show and tell at the moment. But here are, it's gonna be hard to see. This is pointless. I'll put up pictures, I guess. But I have them ready. I need to get ready and take like social media content, I guess, like pictures to put on the website. And then I also always make like a TikTok or a reel of my collection when it's finished because that's how I like enjoying like looking at pieces. I like watching videos of them, so that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna do. I have to eat though. Okay, so right now I'm making some of the stuff that I need. My hair keeps looking really bad. Wow. I have my drinks here. This one is from yesterday. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I got a cold brew and then a water that I don't really touch because to be honest, I don't drink enough. I don't drink water. I just finished making about seven pairs of one of my styles. Now I have to make five of another style. Yeah, this should take me about hopefully like 20 minutes because I really need to get packing. I'm also kind of sleepy. I live in this one bedroom, one bath apartment. I've been here since August. And as soon as I moved out, I got a bunch of cats because that's who I am. This is Mouse. I got him off the street. He's a little street cat and we're buddies. And he also just got his balls chopped off. So he's been a little frisky. Come here, Stink. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Go. Then I have Bear and Birdie, which I'll show pic I'll show pictures of them. Oh my god. At the filming of this interrogation footage, he was arrested for helping a 15 year old girl execute the brutal murder of her father. That's uh Senator. Do a background check as well as a DNA test, as well as, well, not DNA. Material girl? Come on, come on, come on. Can't I do a little password lock here? Where were you? Who were not yet in high school called their father's girlfriend for help, and it was not long before the police were involved. Only a few hours later, investigators picked up and detained three young individuals. Walking I've been watching a lot of interrogations lately. Like, I don't know if anyone else watches, like, um, there's a crew. Oh my god! So I used to watch a lot of true crime stuff and have people like retell the crimes, but now I've been doing like interrogation stuff and more like psychology um, part of it. And this video 
is very interesting. I just watch a bunch of interrogations from freaky people. This guy is the freakiest of them all. Information I gave <laughs> is not worth six bucks. It's worth a lot uh, more. Russell behaves as though he's a super villain. I have a package that I haven't opened yet and I want to open from Bagu. Oh, cool. It's literally wide open. Weird. Okay, anyways. Uh, oh, I got masks. I have, these are my favorite masks, so I always try to get some, like, if I order. Yeah, since I take things to the post office, I need bags to put them in, and I've just been using, like, regular, like, reusable bags that I get from different, like, stores and wherever. But I wanted to get bagu bags because, well, one, they're cute, duh, but also because they fold up really small. And um, right now I've been shoving my bags underneath the couch. I really am excited about these patterns. This is like a quilt pattern. This is a floral quilt pattern. And then like this. And then I got the checkered set. This one's really cute. I have these in masks too. Wait, no I don't. No I don't. It's just checkered. And that is what I got from Bagu. That is so exciting. <laughs> that is amazing and so exciting. Okay, I finished making all the earrings, so now I'm gonna finish packing. It's almost two o'clock, which honestly is a lot later than I was hoping because I still have to do my makeup and take pictures and things, and that usually takes a couple hours. So I thought I was gonna be able to take a nap, but I'm literally not gonna be able to anymore. So basically, I keep all my products here. This is a terrible angle. I keep all of my earrings in different sections of this thing. They're labeled with the product name. I go through these and finish it out. I say it shouldn't take long. I did say that last time too, so. I don't know. But I need to get this done because I need to do my makeup. I'm also watching commentary video. I literally love YouTube drama so much. I'm embarrassed of things that I like. Because I think... <laughs> I, I just like wish I enjoyed more interesting topics that could maybe like better myself or better the world, but... I do not. <laughs> Maybe that'll be a goal of mine, is to consume better media while I work. But not today. In addition to working as an editor for Fringe magazine and a gossip columnist for another. This was, of course, in between filming these weird kissing tutorials for Howcast. I fucking watched those. Ah! No! No, oh my god. Wow. That's a good bag. I honestly don't even need this big of a bag. Like, not even close. That is so epic. So, totally found out that the reason why my house stinks so bad is because one of my cats is, like, pissing on one of my towels. And this has happened before, but I thought we, like, moved past it. So, just guess how good my house smells. I'm gonna go to the post office, and I really want a Red Bull. Like, I totally want a Red Bull. And I haven't had one in a second because I'm like scared by how much I like them. I don't wanna like something that much. Like, I don't like that they have like that much power over me. Cause like with coffee, I like it. Love it sometimes, but it's more like, I can do without it. But Red Bull, I don't know, I don't know. <sighs> I also need to check my mailbox, so be, be, be right back. Don't miss me too much. Nothing exciting in my mailbox, which 
Makes sense, because I didn't order anything exciting any any time recently. Also, I hate living in an apartment in the way that the previous tenants, I guess, all had signed up for some type of spam. Or maybe this just gets delivered to every fucking house. I don't know, because this is my first time living alone. But every day, it's just shit. I'm like totally not interested, but cool, I guess. Also, by the way, it's five o'clock and I should have been taking pictures by now and I still don't have makeup on, hair done, nothing. I'm gonna do it after this and just do it really fast. I get my business cards as of right now from Vistaprint. Um, in the future, not in the future, but it, I have a bunch right now to last me a couple months, but I think I'm gonna, in the meantime, look for a more eco-friendly business. Vistaprint definitely has an eco-friendly option, but I don't really love the print quality of the eco-friendly option. So we're just gonna look. Um, but also the printing quality from Vistaprint has been kind of like hit or miss. For the price, it's a hit. But I did have an issue with this last order. Let me just show you. So I don't know if I mentioned this already, but the month of April, I'm releasing a Studio Ghibli collection every month, every week. Oh my god, I'm crazy. So I designed different earring backs for that. All of the design images were the same. I only had two pictures, a front and a back, so there's no way that the image was the reason why it was distorted. It was a printing issue. But the design is supposed to look more like this, like lighter, and then there's the like care information. Like, this print was way darker. You can really see it from back here. Way darker than these, but it's the same picture. So I messaged them, I was like, hey, um, some of my cards came out very dark, and uh, would you be able to like refund me or replace them, whatever, because that's a printing issue. So let's compare. <laughs> they're exactly, they're still they're too dark. LMAO. <laughs> that is so embarrassing for Mr. Print. It's fine. They sent me a thousand for free. I'm still able to use these. Like, it's not like too dark to the point where you can't see the design. And the quality is nice. Like, I like the finish of the cards. It's just harder to read the print on the back, but I'm still gonna use them. That happens. That's life. That is life, isn't it, guys? It's about an hour later. Um, I'm ready to take pictures, which is fun. And I usually take them against this door. The only good window that I have is this one. So I have to be this way. And I don't really want to set up this. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I take pictures against the door over there. Oh my God. Oh my God. What's happening? What's going on? Come here. Come here, Stinks. Oh my God. Oh, I <laughs> think. I literally just threw it in Birdie's face. I'm sorry, girl. Birdie is very well behaved, so she can stay out here with me, but the boys are gonna run around and distract me, and I don't have time. <laughs> These are really pretty. I haven't put them on yet. I finished taking pictures. It took me like 45 minutes to do that in the TikTok and I already posted the TikTok and posted all my reels. Now I'm gonna show you how I take pictures for my products. I come over to the window seal, then I grab this tray, but I like it because it's like slightly shiny so it kind of bounces the light back up onto the product, kind of like what a mirror would do, but a little bit less dramatic. So I think it look, makes metal look really good because it'll make the metal kind of um, more dimensional in the picture. Like I know what the fuck I'm talking about. All right, I think I got all the product pictures, which is good. I'm gonna double check before the sun goes down and then I'm gonna take a big fat break and eat some food. They look good. It's a couple hours later. I took like a three hour break. I honestly was starting to get a headache pretty bad. And I'm, I think it's because I forgot to take my medication last night. That's definitely probably why.
But right now I'm gonna try to get the pictures that I did and then I'll just wake up early tomorrow and get everything like listed on my website. That usually doesn't take too long. Good night, I'll see you in the morning. It's 7.30 right now. So I have like four and a half hours to get everything ready before my drop goes live. I don't think everything is going to take me four and a half hours, but I definitely have to count inventory and I'm going to make sure all the pictures are good. So I secretly did all of these pictures half asleep, but they look pretty good. But like, these are for house room. These would look better not on an iPad. So I have these, these, and calcifer and then the first ones have turned out the best mainly because of the okay yeah this background turned out the best because it has like the most contrast has the most contrast with the background so i mainly do this so that i have like more interesting product pictures when you first click on it but then obviously there's going to be more pictures of stuff without a background so that people can see the product better because I know that this is not the best way to view a product but a lot of what I do with my site is like the artistry of it and like the visual appeal um because that's what I like so oh my god two minutes before my drop I'm posting and writing a caption. I don't really like my captions being too long. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just post it now. Okay, everything's live, I think. I'm sorry. This is the first time I've used a camera on this new computer and it's literally ass. Um, I thought I recorded after that, but I didn't. So here, you get me here. What's up? It's a couple weeks later. I got a haircut. My hair before looked much better, but that happens. Right now, I'm just mullet city. It looks okay sometimes. Right now, it does absolutely does not look good. This year has been really hard for me, and last year, I've been through a lot of changes. Like uh, the last couple of videos that I posted on my channel, I had dropped out of school, and I'd also was like transitioning into moving back home. So I just didn't document any of it because that's not how I work, and I don't think I've ever really worked that way. YouTube for me is definitely like. A video diary in some periods of my life I want to share lots like when I was in high school I wanted to post all the time and then as I got older there were just some things that I just like didn't feel like sharing or wasn't like inclined to post the last year that I haven't been posting I was investing a lot of time in myself and that's like where that's literally how my business like became a thing I just started doing what I loved and I like let myself do things I'm really grateful and I really hope I'm able to do what I'm doing for a long time because I love jewelry and I love creating things and yeah I just I love what I'm doing so much I'm putting glasses on yeah apartment 5 is my business it's literally my life I love it so much I never thought I would be able to do something that I love so much and I'm really grateful and I know that a lot of my success is from this platform from YouTube because I did it for so long and I know that a lot of people on my Instagram like still like they followed me from Instagram um, from YouTube and that's really special I feel like I'm in my truest form now and I really just want to like document it now so I am planning on posting more videos um, just about my life but yeah I'm really grateful for my business and my drop went so well. It was like crazy. I can't believe this is my life. So thank you, I really love you. Also, if you are planning on dropping out, I'm a dropout advocate. If you're interested in buying anything from this collection, it did sell out the first time, but I'm restocking May 5th, so it should be the day that this video comes out. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in my description, but no pressure. And yeah. Have a good day. I will see you guys soon. I'll see you guys soon. For sure.